a paper learning page tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple landing page using Aweber. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log on to your Aweber account. If you don't have one, it's pretty simple and easy. All you have to do is sign up via your email and that is it. Aweber is primarily used for email marketing, so it's focused a lot more on that, but you can create beautiful landing pages with Aweber as well. So all you have to do is enter your email to sign up and this is going to be your basic dashboard now on your dashboard you're going to find these icons on the left side over here and you can expand them like so and once you expand them you're going to find landing pages over here so once you find landing pages you can just click on it over here and once you click on landing pages this is going to load up so you can just click on create a landing page on the top right over here and once you click on that, you can see over here that they provide you with several different templates that you can choose from to create your landing page. Or you can also start with a blank canvas and create your own unique landing page if you want. So that is totally up to you. Now, you might be wondering what's the difference between a landing page and a website. It's basically a website. Why are we calling it a landing page? Well, a landing page like this, for example. So a landing page does not have any navigation panels. You can see this is like one page and one page only but a website actually has like several different navigation panels you can go on to different pages on the website and a landing page instead a singular website page so you could say that a landing page is like a simplified version of a website now to get started with creating our own a web or landing page we're going to choose what kind of landing page we want so let's just say i want a landing page for some kind of sale you know some kind of discount that's running on like a clothing brand that i'm running or something like that so let's go with that example so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the search in templates and I'm going to search for sale and you can see over here there are several different templates that they are recommending to me now within these templates I have like flash sale small business showcase gallery I have sell an online course but this template actually fits the idea of my example perfectly so I'm just going to click on choose over here and I'm going to choose this landing page and begin customizing it according to my own personal need so i'm just waiting for this landing page to load up on my screen now once your landing page has loaded you're going to find on your left you have your element so whenever you want to add something to your landing page you're going to add it from here and whenever you have to design it you're going to add it from the right side of your page you're going to find all of the options to edit the page or edit the item so you can see over here this is the template and on my template the first thing i'm going to choose is this top text which is basically like like the logo text and I'm just going to click on delete over here and instead I'm going to drop this text element from the left side of my screen and I'm just going to add some uh, text so let's say our brand name is Lolita Fashion so I'm just going to add that and now what I'm going to do is I can click on the text style and I can format it however I want so let's say I want this in like heading and then I want the font to be like a permanent marker looking font so i'm just going to scroll down and i'm going to check out the different fonts that are available and i think i like this one so you're just going to adjust the overall look i'm going to change the line height to two because i want like large borders around my text and i think i want this to be centered instead of being at the side so i think the center looks good yeah so i like it centered so i'm going to make it centered so i've added like the top header now below that i want to change this row and i'm just gonna instead of like writing sale i'm going to click on this and you can see it has been designed using canva i think the sale icon is pretty good instead i'm just going to add another text element beside it and I'm going to write flash. I'm going to change the color of the background. The background color is okay. I'll go with the text color and I'll make it slightly more thicker. And I'll increase the line height as well. And then I'm just going to make it heading. And I think this looks pretty good. So taking a look at the text, I want it to be black. The box should be white. And or the box should just be green flash sale i think this looks pretty good now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter the starting at nine zero three twenty twenty 
like that and now you can add the countdown for that but i'm gonna leave that and i'm just going to delete that and i'm just gonna leave a sign up form over here and then you have this featured product section obviously you can add your own products but i'm just going to remove it and i think this is like a pretty simple little landing page it just uh, displays that a sale is coming up and then you have the sign up and now instead of that i am going to add a divider over here and I'm just going to make it a green colored divider and I'm going to make it a bit thicker like so and I'm going to remove this from over here and I'm going to add like a simple little row that says like um, sign up for updates. So in this row, I'm going to enter over here. I'm going to add my text. So it's going to be black. I'm going to write sign up for updates like that. I'm going to drop my text block. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to drop the text block right below here. Or right below the email sign up. I think that will look best. So I'm going to add it right over here. Like this. And I'm going to change the color to black. Sign up for updates. I think this looks pretty good now. It's simple and neat. And just like that, once I have finished my design, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on preview over here. So you can preview it, what it's going to look like on a desktop. And then you can click on mobile preview and then see how it's going to look on mobile devices. Now, once you've done that, if you've previewed it and you want to make some changes, you can go back to the editor or you can just click on save and exit at the bottom right over here. And just like that, you have a simple little landing page ready. Now, once you have done that, saved it, you're just going to click on publish over here. And now my landing page is going to be published. So you can see my page is live and ready to go. I can copy the link. I can click on done. And now my page is live. And if I click on my website link over here, this is what it's looking like. It looks so gorgeous and it looks so professional as well. And I really like how you can make something look so neat and professional and well designed with a simple template or just by editing simple templates or even creating your own landing page from scratch. And I do think it's pretty great that Aweber provides such a great little landing page creator, although they are not focused on landing pages. Instead, their main focus is email marketing. And the great part is that these landing pages are available for free. So Aweber has a free version and using the free version, you can easily create your landing page. But if you want, you know, email stuff and you want to automate emails and all that, you might want to upgrade. But if you're just using Aweber to create a couple of landing pages, you can do that for free as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own landing pages using Aweber. Make sure to share this video with someone you think might need it. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment box down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content like this. And I will catch you guys in the next video.